What's up guys, James here, how are you doing? So this is a response to Bad Cop 69's video about in vitro meat. Uh, first off, I'd just like to, men um, like to mention that my good friend you, James 1978 has been uh, suspended for two weeks due to a false flagging. Um, so I'm going to link to both his main channel and his backup channel down below, and I strongly urge that you check him out and subscribe. He's one of my best friends on YouTube, and he's helped me out more than absolutely any other YouTuber. Uh, he's got fantastic content, very unique way of looking at the world. Um, so, yeah, really strongly recommend you checking him out. And I thought I'd do it like this, rather than um, just mirroring a video again, because I mirror so many that they basically end up losing all meaning. And I thought it'd be better to have more of a personal touch. Back onto the topic at hand then, um, in vitro meat, or laboratory grown meat, um, it's basically you take a single animal uh, muscle cell and you can just grow um, an endless supply of it in a laboratory without harming any animals whatsoever. Um, you know, no one else has really mentioned this, but um, it will also be possible with things with liver cells and uh, stuff like that, so you'll be able to have like uh, chicken, um, chicken livers and things like that without harming any um, harming any animals. Um, but apart from the ethical benefits, which, you know, are quite clear, I'm, I'm personally uh, very unashamedly uh, omnivorous, but I still recognise that, you know, yes, animals do have the capacity for suffering, and any uh, measure which can be taken to reduce this is certainly worth backing 100%. Now, Bad Cop uh, mentions, and rightly so, that there's still going to be people who are against it, um, no matter what, because there's people who are against vaccinations, contraception, genetic modification, pharmaceuticals, absolutely anything else you can uh, mention which is designed for the benefit of mankind, which uses technology further along than the wheel. Much of this is due to uh, propaganda, um, you know, as is the case in South Africa, where a guy called Matthias Rath has been uh, selling vitamin tablets as a cure for AIDS, and at the same time spreading propaganda against uh, the big pharmaceutical companies, especially towards uh, antiretroviral drugs. Uh, he also tried to sell vitamin C as a cure for cancer, and he's had a whole string of other scams involved as well. Um, However, uh, when it comes to people in the Western world who, um, you know, uh, who are against genetic modification, um, or if they go vegetarian, uh, vegan, or just want free-range products, you know, that's fine. That's completely their choice if they want to do so. But when they go, when they go to the extent of trying to force everybody else to take that stance. That's when it causes a big fucking problem, and I just absolutely despise when these people do it. They've got absolutely no capacity to uh, actually see that um, you know, lots of these things are actually fucking necessary outside of a Western world where you've got the money and the privilege to be able to make those choices. Um, scientists are developing um, what's called golden rice at the moment, uh, which has vit uh, genetically modified to produce vitamin A and I think a few other uh, vitamins as well. Um, and this can save thousands of lives a year, can prevent about 100,000 children a year from going blind. But because these people can't see past their own priv um, privileged uh, lifestyle, um, they, can't, they don't realise that this is actually fucking necessary. Um, in principle, I am very much against uh, battery farming, but I'm not stupid enough to neglect to realise that, yes, there's 7 billion people in the world, um, and that number's rising, and then there's people who can't afford to, um, afford, um, afford to buy free-range uh, produce. So I um, do see it as becoming more and more of a necessary evil, unless this in vitro meat really, um, really takes off. Um, that being uh, said, however, despite the fact that I can see potentially, um, potentially people being against, uh, some people like that being against it, I haven't seen much objection to it yet. Even Peter, who are, you know, I think they're extremists, uh, they spread propaganda and bad science, they've had uh, ties with terrorist organisations, but even even how extreme Peter are, even they are 
very much in support of this product, which was uh, both surprising um, and extremely um, encouraging. So, you know, for that reason, I don't see the, uh, you know, the extreme antis really being a major problem as far as this is concerned. Um, yes, I'm sure people will come up uh, with reasons to try to oppose it, but I think the biggest problem is simply going to be the question of, is it going to taste good? Um, if, it doesn't taste, if it doesn't taste as good as the uh, traditional, uh, traditional alternative, uh, consumers aren't going to want anything to do with it. If it does taste as good, then it's going to just fly off the shelves. Um, now scientists have made this mistake before. We developed what was called the uh, flavour tomato, which was a tomato uh, which was genetically modified to stay, stay fresh for a lot longer. But unfortunately, uh, the scientists made the mistake of selecting a tomato for it, which was notoriously known for its complete lack of uh, flavour. And as a result, uh, the project was a complete failure. Um, now, I can see this uh, product really taking off over the next 10 to, 20, um, 10 to 20 years. Uh, hopefully, it can completely eradicate the uh, battery, battery farming industry. But um, certainly not in my lifetime. I don't see it, um, I don't see it destroying the uh, traditional meat market completely. I think, yes, um, certainly for the rest of my life, um, there's still going to be... Uh, there's still going to be people who will choose the uh, natural alternative um, from time to time. I can see um, real meat being used, um, being bought for special occasions and that kind of thing. Um, but, you know, as I said, hopefully it will destroy the battery farming industry and the meat which is bought is going to be hand reared. Um, it's going to be free range and, you know, all, um, all of that, all of that good stuff. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely 100% in support of this technology. Um, I'm going to leave some links down below um, about, um, about it and about a few other things as well. Uh, until next time then, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.